In this video, we are going to discuss about transient response of RC circuit to sinusoidal excitation. For that, let's consider this circuit. Here, this circuit is energized by a voltage V of t which is equal to Vm sin omega t. At t is equal to 0, this switch is getting closed so that current I of t will flow through the circuit. The KVL equation for this circuit at t greater than 0 is obtained as Vm sin omega t is equal to R into I of t plus 1 by c integral 0 to t I of t dt. Let it be equation number 1. Initially, the switch was in open condition. So, let's assume initial capacitor charge as 0. That is Vc0 is equal to 0 volt. Now, we can take Laplace transform of this equation. Vm sin omega t Laplace transform is Vm omega by a square plus omega square. This term Laplace transform is I of s into R. And for this one, Laplace transform is 1 by Cs capital I of s. We can take I of s common. So, I of s into R plus 1 by Cs is equal to Vm omega divided by a square plus omega square. So, simplifying we can obtain the expression for I of s as Vm omega by a square plus omega square into R C S plus 1 all divided by C S. Just like in RL circuit, we can split this component into S minus J omega into S plus J omega. So, considering all these things, we can simplify I of s as Vm omega by R into S divided by S plus 1 by RC into S minus J omega into S plus J omega. Now, we can write down I of s using partial fraction expansion like this. That is, I of s is equal to A by S plus 1 by RC plus B by S minus J omega plus C by S plus J omega. A can be obtained by multiplying this equation with S plus 1 by RC and equating S is equal to minus 1 by rc in that equation and b can be obtained by multiplying this equation with s minus j omega and equating s is equal to j omega and similarly c can be obtained by multiplying this equation with s plus j omega and equating s is equal to minus j omega so after simplification we can obtain a as minus vm omega c divided by 1 plus omega square r square c square and b as Vm omega c into 1 minus j omega rc divided by 2 into 1 plus omega square r square c square and c as Vm omega c into 1 plus j omega rc divided by 2 into 1 plus omega square r square c square. Now we can substitute the value of a, b and c in this equation so that we can find out L inverse that is i of t easily. So, after substituting the value of A, B and C in I of S equation, we can write down I of S equation like this. Let B equation number 2. So, L inverse of the first part is A into E raised to minus 1 by R C T. And L inverse of this one is B, this part is B, B into E raised to J omega T plus this is C, C into E raised to minus J omega T that much ambient. Let's simplify it further. For that, here Vm omega c divided by 1 plus omega square r square c square is common in all these three terms. We can take that one as common and the remaining part become here minus e raised to minus t by rc. In this term, the remaining parts are 1 by 2 into 1 minus j omega rc into e raised to j omega t. And in this term, it is 1 by 2 into 1 plus j omega rc into e raised to minus j omega t. So, from this part, in denominator, if you are taking omega square c square common, the equation become like this, vm omega c divided by omega square c square into r square plus 1 by omega square c square. 1 omega c will get cancelled. So, the remaining part become Vm divided by omega c into r square plus 1 by omega square c square into minus e raised to minus t by rc plus 1 by 2 1 minus 
j omega r c into e raised to j omega t plus 1 by 2 1 plus j omega r c into e raised to minus j omega t this 1 by c we can distribute inside bracket it become like this and in this term if we are taking 0.5 divided by omega c common the remaining part become e raised to j omega t plus e raised to minus j omega t and similarly if we are taking minus j 0.5 omega r c divided by omega c common the rest part can be represented by e raised to j omega t minus e raised to minus j omega t so this part can be represented in terms of cos and this part can be represented in terms of sin just like in R L circuit so i of t can be written as vm divided by r square plus 1 by omega square c square into minus 1 by omega c e raise to minus t by r c this 0.5 we can write just like in earlier case that is 1 by 2 omega c and this term e raise to j omega t plus e raise to minus j omega t can be expressed as 2 cos omega t this 2 and this 2 get cancelled and similarly this part we can represent it by j omega r c divided by 2 omega c like this omega c get cancelled and this part can be represented by 2j sin omega t 2 and 2 get cancelled the final value can be obtained as r sin omega t so after simplification we can obtain i of t as vm divided by r square plus 1 by omega square c square into minus 1 by omega c into e raised to minus t by r c plus 1 by omega c cos omega t plus r sin omega t now let's consider this impedance triangle this is r this is x c and this is impedance magnitude of impedance so this angle theta is equal to tan inverse x c by r so substituting we can obtain this angle theta as tan inverse 1 by omega c r and sin theta is equal to opposite side by hypotenuse opposite side is 1 by omega c and this one is root r square plus 1 by omega c whole square from this we can write down the expression for 1 by omega c as root r square plus 1 by omega square c square into sin theta and similarly we can obtain cos theta as adjacent side by hypotenuse that is r divided by root r square plus 1 by omega square c square from this we can write down r as root of r square plus 1 by omega square c square into cos theta now in this equation if we are substituting 1 by omega c as this one and r as this one we can write down the equation for i of t like this after solving this we can obtain the expression for i of t as vm divided by root of r square plus 1 by omega square c square into minus sin theta e raised to minus t by r c plus sin omega t plus theta that much ampere in general if v of t is equal to vm sin omega t plus phi then i of t can be written as vm divided by root r square plus 1 by omega square c square sin omega t plus phi plus theta minus vm divided by root r square plus 1 by omega square c square into sin phi plus theta e raised to minus t by tau where tau is time constant of the circuit that is rc that much ampere